Hey guys, I'm about to do an unboxing of this. This is my front wheel hitch. So I can trailer my motorcycle to Dills Gap and beyond, hopefully. So if you guys know, I tried the side carrier for the back of the truck and that didn't work out so well because my bike is a little bit too heavy for it. And my pickup truck is a little bit too weak so if I had a bigger pickup truck and I had a little bit of a lighter weight bike I could have used that but since I don't I'm gonna try this out it needs to be assembled so this is the first thing let's look at it things here and there's a bag full of hardware one of these to lock the hitch on there let's put that aside let's yeah, it comes with some straps. There's some more bolts here. Four straps, it looks like. They're kind of weak. I bought my own. There's this bar. And then this, this is what goes into the, the receiver. And what we have here is pretty important. This is the instructions. This is everything that's included with the, the front wheel carrier. First thing that we're gonna do is, this is the part that goes into your hitch receiver. And we're gonna start this way as if the car is that way. The tail of the car is that way. And this is the part where we are going to be attaching stuff. <clears throat> this is where the front wheel is gonna be hitting and make sure that this part is up not down you cannot mount it like this it has to be this way and we're just going to slide this down and then you have this that goes into the back that plate and this just pinches this together we're not going to tighten it the next thing is this plate that goes where the front wheel is going to be resting on like this and it attaches using this and this, like this, <clears throat> and bolts in this lower, lower part. So let's first attach these on here. So I'm going to put the bolt so it's loose and it bends. The next thing is using one of these arms, <clears throat> and you attach it, I believe, this way to here. And with this kit, <clears throat> is it's missing one of these bolts and this is not cut to perfection because the bolt does not go in so I might have to re-drill it which is kind of a bummer you'd expect these to be very well done but they're not I'm gonna put the bolt to the other take a nut nut washer and or bolt washer and the nut. So I'm not tightening any of these bolts. This is going to be holding the tire and make sure that this part, the square bit, goes this way towards the receiver. And then you have three bolts where you can put it. I'm going to put it in the middle one. And for this one, you have this bolt. This is the biggest bolt that comes with the kit. It's got a uh, nut, then you have the big bolt, you have a very big thick washer and a small washer. What I'm going to do is thread it this way and then I believe this washer goes here on the inside thing and then the nut. So you do have a handle. This is a feature that I didn't even realize that this kit come, came with it. This basically lets you lower this down so you can just run the front wheel up and then lift it back up with the arm. I actually thought this kit came with a ramp, but it doesn't. But this system is better if it actually is reliable. The arm, this is the, the handle that comes with it. You're going to put it this way. These two heavy plates. And you're going to use a bigger nut like this. Put it this way. 
And then this, I believe it goes up to this one. Same sort of system. There's this pin. Your kit will come with these two pins. And one goes for here, and the other goes for the handle. This is a, a nice system because you can use this to push up and lift the rack up. And then when you're done, you basically fold it away like this. All we really need to do now is tighten all these bolts. All right, guys, I have everything bolted up, and hopefully this is going to be it. Remember, the kit also comes with this, which goes into your receiver here. So the maker didn't punch out the hole. Kind of wish they... Uh... And remember, they also didn't include one of the bolts that was required. It's a pretty good system, and I will be talking a little bit more about the system as I use it. I basically wanted something for trailering my bike here and there. I don't trailer a lot, maybe once or twice per year. Sometimes when I buy bikes, the bikes are always local. So it doesn't really require a lot of distance. But I do plan on trailering my DL650 to some far off places, and this is the system I chose. I do realize it wears out the rear tire and the chain and the sprockets, but I do intend on removing the chain for transport. This system works fairly well. I did have a trailer and I used it for a very long time, but I don't want to be storing trailers here and there. I don't like to register trailers. And in this state, you do have to register the trailer every year. So that's a, an expense I didn't really want. And I don't want something really large hanging out of my the back of my car. This system is nice because it doesn't have a lot of weight on your hitch. The front wheel is on the hitch. There is some weight. But any car should be able to transport this. So let's go ahead and bolt up all of the stuff. So this is fairly easy to get onto your receiver. And you see the arm here, you can just lower it down and get the wheel up on the stand. I did find that the book was a little bit hard to put into the stand, but I think it's just like all to do. Let me just show you what's happening here. The tire is on here, but the bolts are so big that it's actually hitting the bolts. It is on there, and I'm not even holding the bike what the system would look like. I'm not strapped in. I haven't strapped the bike in. And I don't want to lift it up just yet. Also, it's kind of, um, you probably will break that arm. It seems like a very bad design flaw to have the this system to kind of pull it up because this is a pretty heavy bike. It's kind of a weird system, I'm going to admit. But I think it will suit my purposes. So what I did was I reversed the bolts so they go to the outside. That way there's a little bit more clearance. But I could also bend the steel out a little bit so the wheel fits a little bit better. But after I reversed the bolts, they did clear better and the tire does go through. But it's still not a perfect system. But nothing really is perfect. Getting the front wheel on there is a little tricky, but I think it's all technique and you will get used to it. So guys, by reversing these bolts so this part faces out, you have a lot more space to fit the tire, but that's still a very, very limited clearance. So now this is the part where you lift the bike up off the ground and you can see I'm using a bar for leverage. The key is to not strap the bike in and lift it up because otherwise it puts stress on the cables and I only realized this afterwards. But it's still very difficult to get the arm down and the bike up. Now the reason it's so low to the ground is because my hitch is not all the way in. I'm going to remove it because also keep in mind that I did not put this all the way in. So when it's uh, all the way in, it'll be a whole lot more stable and everything. 
all right guys thanks for watching the video uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell for notifications and i hope to see you in the next video where i'm going to test this thing out